What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and yesterday Twitter was on fire and if you're reading the title of this video, you know why. Shit is crazy at the current moment. Rapper Lupe Fiasco has accepted a challenge from Zero for EVO 2016. This is big and this means a lot for both scenes, you know, for the rap scene and for Smash Brothers as well. I don't even know what to say, bro, because, you know, we know Lupe Fiasco went against Daigo, and some people are very opinionated about that match. There's plenty that say, hey, maybe certain things weren't all as clean as they were made out to appear, but whatever. The point is, we ain't looking at the past, we're looking at the present. Lupe Fiasco versus Zero. And one thing, I just want to point out one little thing, okay? Why the fuck does this nigga look so clean? I don't know what the hell Zero did. This is, this is Zero 2.0 right here, nigga. This nigga looks too damn clean for this fucking banner. I mean, I looked up the picture, right? It's an old picture, apparently, from 2013, back when he was still with Clash Tournaments. But still, man, it's like this dude became fucking, he became someone else. That's not Zero, that's Zero. That's Zero right there, that's Zero. What the fuck, Zero? <laughs> but this banner got me so fucking hype. Lupe, hey Lupe, listen, bro. All right, I'm going to show you guys the way this all played out on Twitter. I have the tweets right here. It literally happened 23 hours ago on this bitch. So Zero was doing his thing, you know, like like usual. And then we see a post over here, him mentioning to Lupe Fiasco, the official Lupe Fiasco, as you can see, you know, two, um, like, you know, one point, almost 1.5 million followers on Twitter, verified, definitely legit. And he said, so I heard you want to play Smash 4 at EVO. You should totally play me a set. And then, out of nowhere, the dude responded talking about, yo, I guess he's talking to some, like maybe one of his managers or something. I'm not sure who Mark Man 23 is, but hey, I'm not a fucking pro at the rap game. I, I but I understand how the Smash Bros. game work out. That boy Lupe said, "Yo, can you help set up this Lupe versus TSM Zero match at Evo?" Also, I need a Nintendo and a copy of Smash. A Nintendo, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? Lupe's old school with this shit. He said, Let me, "Just give me, just give me Smash Bros. and whatever the fuck it, console it plays on right now." Um, and of course, that main is Ryu, so we see, we see this dude Lupe's coming into the game, he's gonna be using Ryu to fight Zero. That's actually not a bad pick, dude. Ryu's pretty damn versatile, so you might have a chance, but things go even further than that, my boys. So he also hits up Trella, who's arguably one of the best Ryus on the planet, and says, hey, I heard you have a Ryu in Smash. I need a sensei. What up, dude? <laughs> Yo, this is getting legit. If this dude, Lu okay, here's here's the thing, right? Lupe, I'm so glad that you went down the route of trying to find somebody to teach you how to play the game efficiently before Evo. You know what? Hey, can you crunch in like years of Smash Brothers knowledge within two months if you're training with someone? Maybe? Who knows? Have we ever seen something like this before? Maybe, but not of recent. If Lupe is able to do this, dude, and here's the thing, Lupe, you can't just have Trello. You gotta have somebody else there with you, too. Hit up Anti, hit up Nairo, hit up fucking Mr. R, hit up Esam, hit up Anti, I mean, excuse me, hit up Ally. You know, you gotta have two people there with you, man. You need two pro-ass players back-to-back -back teaching you how the game goes, bouncing you off of each other, and then being able to also keep each other sharp so that way nobody gets kind of dulled out because that's the way I see it. If you have a really sharp blade and a dull surface, if you keep trying, you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna work out well for the top player but if you have two of them there that'll be fucking perfect dude this is gonna be fucking hype man i just wanted to spread the word out there because obviously this means a lot for both of these scenes it's it's kind of funny because i i really hope that there's no kind of shit going on in the background this better be a serious fight lupe go in my boy don't hold back train hit the gym hit the lab hit everything you can zero is a fucking monster at this game all right and d1 said it best in one of the tweets that zero retweeted here no disrespect but zero's dominance in smash 4 is something daigo didn't even have be careful what you wish for and truer words have not been said in this situation you gotta watch out, man. Zero's not a joke. He's the undisputed king. There's no one on the planet better than him. You know what, Lupe? If you really want to be able to get a chance at getting in Zero's head for this tournament, or not even for the tournament, because they're not even doing like a tournament thing. He's just straight up, just with just one-on-one -on -one exhibition match. This is gonna happen, dude. Major event. It's all set up at this point. Lupe, hire that nigga. Yo, yo, you need to. You know who you need to really fly out? Larry Lur. Fly Larry Lur out there. The boy just beat Zero in an amazing fucking tournament set in Mexico. You gotta go in, dude. Hire that nigga because he knows the way Zero plays. He understands his moves. Zero, you're my brother, by the way. You know, I, I'm, I'm saying all this stuff to try to beat Zero. But I just want a good match. 
you know, I'm, I'm not necessarily saying that I would like be super happy if Zero was beaten, but I want to see a good game regardless. And I think in two months, I'm not sure how far away um, Evo is, but I, I estimate around two months, maybe less than that at this point. But dude, make sure you have the creme of the crop with you, dude. Larry Lur, um, one of the pro, one other pro, and you have fucking Trella there teaching you the ways of Ryu. With three people in hand, you will, you you will go far. You'll be able to you'll be able to give Zero a run for his money. Trust me, and you'll be able to make an entertaining show for all of us. But guys, what do you think about this information? What do you think about this exhibition match going down, mother? <laughs> if you are what you say you are, a superstar, <laughs> then have no fear. Zero's here. Link, let's go, man. I'm excited about this, and of course, your boy gonna be at Evo. We're gonna be set up over there, man. You know, it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have someone special with me too, you know? Hey, so I mean, Evo's gonna be lit this year, okay? I'm just saying. With motherfucking Lupe Fiasco in that bit, that's, this is some next level, dog. But okay, I'll see you guys later on. Uh, <laughs> yo, hit up a tweet. Tell that boy, tell that boy Lupe. Edica's, I'm rooting for you, Lupe, okay? I'm rooting for you, dog. I want you to go in and just, I, I want you to do so well against him, man. I want this to be pushed to the last freaking. I want this to be pushed to the last match in the last set, okay? If we're going, if, if we're going like what, three out of five, I want this to be pushed to game five, all right, dog? I'm just saying. I'll talk to you guys later on. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.